Hello everyone, today we will be taking a look at the Ubiquiti 8 port 10G SFP Plus aggregation switch. Uh, this is pretty much my first 10G uh, switch that I will be adding to my home network. I plan to upgrade all my current switches from 1 gigabit per second to 10 gigabit per second um, capabilities, and this is the first piece of the puzzle. Um, this is pretty much uh, uh, what Unify calls uh, an aggregation switch. Um, what is an aggregation switch? Well, aggregation switch is pretty much um, a network device that uh, allows multiple network connections to be bundled together into a single link. Um, so if you look at uh, Unify's site, um, this is pretty much what the switch is designed to do. So as you can see, you got your uh, cloud gateway, which is, could be your dream machine, um, hook up to the aggregation switch and then distributes out to multiple switches, which I plan to do. Uh, I plan to follow this setup here. So I already have a dream machine. I'm gonna hook up the dream machine to the aggregation. And then I have a couple of small switches around the house that I will uh, pipe out uh, to uh, connect multiple uh, LAN devices. So that's pretty much how a uh, Unify uh, 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 sees this uh, product. It kind of sits in the rack and kind of connects all your devices together to like one high speed single link. So I think it's a pretty cool device and it's pretty affordable too. Um, I'll put the link to the product below, check it out. Um, the only thing is you got to keep in mind that these, these do use SFP plus. So you need to de determine what kind of SFP modules you want to get um, that will add to the additional cost to the unit. Uh, I have a bunch of these uh, RJ45 ones that I will show you how it will hook up to the switches. Uh, so yeah, um, it is it is just pretty much a switch. You could just use that as a standard switch too. It's really up to you. But yeah, so this is the retail box here. Let's take a look at it. So this is pretty much Unify's standard box with the uh, layout of the switch here. And you got the test date and the seal of approval and you can download their app here from the app store to uh, get it set up and uh, let's go ahead and open it up here all right if you look here there's a little notch on unified unboxings i've done a few that you just pretty much pull the tab to open it up and once you open it you got your hardware box in here and you got your switch and this switch is actually a pretty small switch it kind of looks pretty big but it's really tiny here so and it's fanless design too so you don't have to um, worry about noise and it's really solid it's kind of heavy for a small switch because I think the body is made of a uh, steel and it has the silver you unify color so yeah so this is a switch like so really small if you look at it each of these square each of these square here is about an inch so it's a little bit over four inches uh deep so yeah it's not not that big it's very uh it won't take up much space on your rack so it is a 1u design and let's check out what you get in the box here so you get their plug which is looks like a standard three-pronged plug it doesn't have the little locking latch that the dream machine has so it's just a standard plug in the back here and then you get your rack ear so you get two of them obviously to rack it up here and you get rack mount uh, supply and pretty much an instruction manual in there so that's pretty much everything in the box and this is what the switch looks like it's uh, got the little uh, lcd screen here um that most unify uh rack products have so it's pretty cool and you got your eight port sfp plus and each of these uh run at 10 gig speeds so there's the sfp uh unit and like I said earlier, you'll need one of these here. So this is a brand new unit. So let me open it up. So this is a cable matters one. Um, I got it on um, Amazon. I'll put the link below if you're interested in it. But um, I don't. I don't plan to run any fiber 
on on this guy i'm just going to uplink it with a cat 6 cable because it's running short distance so i figure i don't need to run any uh fiber cables on the rack and this is pretty much the ffp unit here so pretty much rj rj45 connector here and then you pretty much just uh, take this unit here and then just pretty much slide it in like that and it clicks in so it kind of sticks out a little bit and then you have your network cable plug in on this end here so that's pretty much how it will be set up so like i said um depending on what your uh uh, use case is you could get an RJ45 one or a fiber line. Um, that's what's cool about SFP. You could swap these out and change it out if you decide to go fiber later and want to run a fiber line to uh, another switch or whatever. You could pretty much just, I believe there was a locking uh, mechanism down there. But yeah, you pretty much just pull it out and you can switch it out to uh, optic uh, fiber uh, SFP uh, module if you want. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, once it's in it's pretty much tight and then this guy here i believe if you want to pull it out you have to put that down and pull it out so yeah so i got a few more of these i got a bunch of them so i'm gonna pretty much hook one up to my dream machine then hook one up to my uh, switch run another one to my um access point and run another one to my um, um flex mini 10g switch that's in another room so yeah, and uh, this is a layer two switch. So if you want to look at some of the specs, I'll bring it up on the screen here. So let me bring that window up here. This is all straight from a uh, Ubiquiti site. So here's the dimensions. So um, so you guys know what the exact dimension is. 17.4 uh, inches by 4.7 by 1.7 inch. Uh, port layout, eight SFP plus, one U. Switching capabilities, 166 gigabits per, per second. Total non-blocking is 80. Forward rate, 119 Mbps, and it can support 1,000 VLANs, 16,000 MAC address table, and it does have layer two features, which is all of these wonderful features here. And then here's the hardware, max power consumption, 36 watts, which is the SLP module, which isn't too bad. Um, and here's all the other specs if you want to take a look at it enclosure material SGCC steel so that's probably why it's a little bit um, heavy it's made out of steel 1.3 inch touchscreen and here's the certifications so yeah so it's not bad um, pretty nice switch here so that's pretty much all for the unboxing um, I'll go ahead and mount this on the rack and then um, we'll get it set up and adopted on uh, unifies um, since I have the dream machine I'll be using uh, unify networking uh, um, operating system to get this adopted and hooked up to my unified network so I'm gonna go ahead and mount this uh, off camera uh, and uh, once it's on the rack we'll go ahead and adopt it onto the network okay so now I'm logged into my uh, dream machine uh, pro max and it sees the USW aggregation switch here. So all I need to do is just click to adopt. It will, it already found an IP address and now it's adopting it to my network. So this takes a few minutes and looks like it's done. So it looks like it's adopting. I do see stuff going on here. So, but it's still waiting there. So we'll give it a few more minutes. It looks like my system detected some packet loss because I, it and clear all go back to my unified device here so it looks like there's an update that needs to be done here and going back to my rack let's see here so it looks like it is updating right now so we're just going to wait for the machine to update. Then after that, I think it should be set, but it looks like everything's working. I got the dream machine here going into the aggregation switch here. So dream machine 
to bottom port here, going to port number one on my aggregation switch. And then number two here is going up, 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 up to my Cisco 50 port gigabit switch where, where I need to, this is gonna be the bottleneck now, this switch here. So I plan to get this switched out maybe in a couple of months. Um, I'm, I'm planning to pick up the $2,500 uh, uh, ubiquity switch, uh, which is all 10 gigs and a couple of 2.5 gig ports. I haven't decided yet what to get, but I definitely need to switch this guy out because it's going to be the bottleneck. And then, yeah, but right now, uh, dream machine to aggregation, aggregation to this switch, and I'm going to hook up another, uh, use another port going to my uh, 10G Flex. Uh, ubiquity switch in my room so yeah so that's the setup but yeah two more minutes until we're good to go here so still waiting and it looks like the internet is working oh, now it shows it's getting ready and it's up to date so now if i click into it looks like it finally rebooted um, on the network switch so if we go back to the network switch controller it says it's pretty much up to date and if you click on it you can see here on the right side of the menu here, everything's hooked up. So port number one, as you can see the speed there. So port number one here, this is going to my dream machine. And then down here is going to my, um, it's going to my Cisco, uh, Cisco uh, 50 port switch. So these, I'm probably gonna hook this one up to my Wi-Fi, And this one here will probably go uplink to another switch. And yeah, it looks like uh, it even tells you uh, what is hooked up on the network. Here's the IPv4, MAC addresses and all that. So yeah, 10 gig experience. Looks like everything's working good. You got the insights here, <clears throat> system statistics. And then I'll probably put this to static, but right now it's on DHCP, global switch settings. You can manage the brightness and everything. So yeah, everything's pretty much good to go here. Okay, let's run a quick speed test on fast.com to see what speed we're gonna get with the new uh, switching. I typically get about 950 megabits, but now let's see. So yeah, so speed's about the same, which is expected with some overhead because I have gigabit uh, connection, uh, at t fiber. So yeah. Um, Pretty satisfied with the speed so far, but we could run it again one more time. And there you go. Well, it looks like a little bit faster this time around. Okay, so not too shabby. Let me run it one more time, just, just for kicks. Okay, so it looks like it's getting a little bit more speed, which is pretty cool. Pretty happy about that. Don't know why um, I'm supposed to be capped on one gigabit, but I'll take it. But yeah, that's my uh, uh, internet speed test uh, with everything hooked up now. That's pretty much it. That's the installation of the USW aggregation into my network. Um, I'm very excited to have my first uh, 10 gigabit uh, switch in my network. And I am happy to slowly phase out my gigabit network and upgrade into 10 GB. So yeah, if you have any questions, guys, uh, go ahead and uh, comment below. Uh, like always, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out till next time.